Hey everybody, hope you're doing great today. Welcome along to a very unusual video for the channel. This one is all about the update that has broken Gran Turismo and the reasons why I think it's broken Gran Turismo as well. So we have the extended maintenance uh, update notice here, updated 17th of March, which is now yesterday. The servers have been offline for a lot more than 24 hours at this point. I'm recording this at 9.40 a.m. in the morning in the UK time, 18th of March. And it says, we extend today's scheduled maintenance for the Grand Turismo 7 servers. We ask for your patience while we work to complete the maintenance. Update, we have found an issue with 1.07 and we are extending the maintenance period. We will confirm the completion time as soon as possible. So what I think has happened is quite simple. I think what has happened is either one of two things. Uh, the first thing could be, this is the update details for 1.07. Uh, let's go through this. This is basic bug fixes and stuff, but there is quite a big bug fix in here. And that will be number nine on the list. The physics simulation model. Adjusted the model to reduce the grip loss when cars with high downforce are passing over a curb zone whilst cornering at its limit. So I have one of two theories. Um, my first theory would be that the physics simulation model is not adjusting well between the PlayStation 4 base version, the PS4 Pro version, and the PS5 version. So something has possibly happened in between the coding of that. And they can't release the patch because it's broken. It fundamentally breaks the game for maybe all the consoles, maybe just one of them. It's maybe something like that. So that would be my first theory, because that can be quite difficult to kind of get right over three different versions of the game. So that would be my first theory there. Um, GT Sport, obviously, uh, sorry, GT Planet, um, talks about why it's outraged fans. And even, even Super GT has kind of weighed in on this a little bit. Uh, let me show you this. So Super GT says, as a matter of principle, I will never do a single microtransaction ever on GT7. And I fully agree with this. The game has definitely got to a point where it's unreasonably time consuming for the average player to gain credits. And don't get me started on the roulette spins either. The two important parts here, points here as well. Uh, the new update, 1.07, uh, completely nerfs the um, completely nerfs the, the monetary system for the game. And that also has a knock-on effect that the grinding races that we've done, um, they are now going to be completely nerfed it's going to take way longer to grind for credits in this game and it's going to be even more ridiculous i mean it was hard enough as it was um but now it's going to be even worse because someone actually looked into the coding of it into the pricing of it uh the new the new uh, races there and they kind of discovered that uh, yeah um it could be kind of geared towards microtransactions which is absolutely abysmal microtransactions do not belong in full price games if you make a game like fortnite you want to sell some skins it's free to play you have at it you know you're looking at any price you want to charge for skins or whatever but the actual grinding times here they're just increasing 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 and it's absolutely absolutely abysmal um so that's kind of one thing there um so to come back to this uh let me just turn this off here so here we are the game so let's see we're 9 43 a.m let's see if it updates because it's broken so no it's updated to the latest version right and you try to load it on either playstation 4 or playstation 5 and what will happen is you'll just get the black menu it will spin and it will spin and it will spin um because there's no game update there they haven't been able to patch it through properly um and in my opinion it's either one of two things the first thing is like i say they're either having problems with the physics and they broke the physics and they need to do another patch that'll be 1.08 and that takes time to implement via sony the patch has to be made by them it has to be tested by them it then has to be sent to sony and approved and then sent back to them so they can implement it into into the game now that takes the minimum of 24 to 48 hours on a fast track patch chat that's kind of how the way that works that doesn't just happen instantly and that's that's going fast you know um so yeah that's a minimum of one or two days downtime 
with the game completely broken and you only able to load the game and then you can do single player stuff and you can't save any stuff you can't save you can't do career mode you can't do anything um the other way it could be is the microtransactions now it could be the fact that microtransactions um have been so poorly received by everybody that sony have panicked pulled the update and decided to have to make a new update to bring the microtrans i'm uh, sorry to bring the um the the game uh, the in-game money back to how it should be and to keep away from the microtransactions i should say excuse me um so yeah it's this is really badly geared towards microtransactions as you can see it's just spinning and spinning and spinning um it will go into single player eventually but here's the problem right the first thing that happens when you see this game is you see this like big red 100,000 over here that's the very first thing you're greeted with when you come into grand Turismo. hey come and buy some credits come on you know get in here Oh, just one pound ninety-nine. Oh, oh, what else have we? Well, what else have we got for the game? Uh, let's see. Oh, look, we have more microtransactions. So, if you want two million credits in the game, you have to pay fifteen ninety-nine UK. You have to pay sixteen pounds. Now, some of the race cars in this game, just the race cars, cost three million credits. So you can't buy three million credits. You have to buy two million credits. So you're gonna have to buy. 2 million credits and 2 million credits on a 70 pound full price game um, that's minimum that's not even the 25th anniversary edition and that's going to cost you double that so that's going to cost you over 30 pounds to buy one car now that is absolutely abysmal and disgusting these do not belong in a full price game now slowly over time Games companies have been creeping these in and creeping these in and creeping these in. They've been getting more egregious, bigger, bigger, you know. And them actually nerfing the in-game rewards for, you know, the cash that we can grind only points people towards these. Because a lot of people are working five or six days a week, between 40 and 60 hours. They don't have time to grind for all this crap, you know, uh, all this money for a car or two or whatever. Um, so, yeah, they, they decide to click on their wallet and uh, spend raw money. Well. This is disgusting, and it's time that gamers stood up for themselves and kept away from this absolute rubbish and tripe. It is time to keep away from these and to actually show them that we're not going to take part in this crap and we want the actual decent reward system back in this game. Because even as it was, it was slow enough to make progress and it just it needs fixing, chat. It needs fixing. So that's kind of my theories there. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Please hit the like button. Please hit subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you live, well, it, as soon as the servers come back on. Because look, the game just doesn't work. We were meant to stream today for you guys, but obviously that's out of my hands. I've deleted GT Sport. We can't go back to it right now. Um, so yeah, we're kind of stuck with a broken game until they fix it. So sorry, this is a bit of a long video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you live as soon as we can. So thank you, everybody. I hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll see you soon. Sometime, somewhere. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now.